Watching another person cry is an uncomfortable and intense experience, even when that person is only on a screen. When done well, crying scenes can pack a powerful and emotional punch, but there are plenty of crying scenes that are just plain awkward to sit through. From unintentionally hilarious to just plain cringeworthy, here are some of the worst. Very sad spoilers ahead. The Room In the climax of Tommy Wiseau's cult classic The Room, Johnny has just lost everything. His fiancé has left him, his best friend hates him, and his life has proven to be just a shallow mirage. In his rage and grief, he destroys the apartment he once shared with Lisa, the love of his life. The problem is that as anybody who has seen this So Bad It's Good film can attest, Wiseau's acting prowess resembles that of an alien, asked to replicate human behavior after watching two episodes of Days of Our Lives. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. As Johnny flails about in a cyclone of destruction, his bizarre, guttural wailing takes the awkwardness of this scene to the next level. Wow. Why, Lisa? Why? Why? It almost sounds like he's crying but the discerning eye would be hard-pressed to find any real tears on Wizo's face. The scene is horrific, surreal, and hard to watch, but then again, so is the rest of the room. Vampire's Kiss Nobody does over the top quite like Nicolas Cage. From his bonkers performance in Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans, to the magnum opus that is The Wicker Man, he sets a high bar for the overdramatic. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! But those movies don't hold a candle to how over the top Cage gets in Vampire's Kiss. The film is full of classic bits, but if there's a single moment that embodies the awkward glory of Cage's performance, it's when he cries. His character has just tried to off himself, but the gun he was using was loaded with blanks. In his anguish, he whimpers quietly before erupting into bombastic hoots. Cage's filmography is filled with classic amped-up emotional breakdowns like this, but Vampire's Kiss is definitely one of the most memorable. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Daniel Radcliffe has turned in many memorable performances starring in the Harry Potter series, expertly nailing moments of comedy, tragedy, and the trials of adolescence. But when you play the same character for as long as he has, you're bound to have a few moments that fall flat. At the end of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry has just witnessed the return of the evil Voldemort, as well as the death of his friend Cedric Diggory. Teleporting from this nightmare back into the epic conclusion of the Triwizard Tournament, the contrast between Harry's grief and the jubilant, oblivious crowd is chilling. It doesn't help when Jeff Roll, playing Cedric's father, swoops in and overacts as well. <laughs> With two actors uncomfortably sobbing over a corpse, the scene shifts from poignant to just plain awkward. A scene like this isn't supposed to be fun to watch, but it's also probably not supposed to be this uncomfortable. Moulin Rouge it's a safe bet that director Baz Luhrmann never learned the meaning of subtlety. While this has often led to some of the most sweeping, beautiful, and unforgettable scenes in film history, other times, not so much. This duality is best exemplified in Moulin Rouge, where audiences are left squirming through some comedically over-the-top crying from Ewan McGregor. In the film's climax, McGregor's character Christian is caressing the body of his love, Satine, who has just died in his arms. Christian begins with some soft whimpering, but soon revs up to an almost musical crescendo. <laughs> Considering that the film is a musical, this isn't entirely inappropriate. While Lerman includes many scenes in Moulin Rouge that were actually supposed to be funny, this crying scene is probably the funniest moment in the entire film. Signs The most vulnerable scene in M. Night Shyamalan's Signs is carried out by four very talented and capable actors. Unfortunately, with a family eating what they believe will be their last meal before an alien invasion, we get a prime example of there being too much talent in one room. Stop crying! Graham, Don't she's... yell at her! <laughs> all right. Everyone in this scene is a wonderful actor, but with all the weeping and Mel Gibson aggressively stabbing at his food, the scene goes past poignant and into hilarious. It's hard not to laugh as an all-American family breaks down over French toast and spaghetti. Rocky Three. The Rocky franchise is a national treasure, and Sylvester Stallone brings the iconic, eponymous boxer to life with an emotional fragility that has endeared him to audiences. That emotion is front and center when Rocky has to say goodbye to his dying trainer. A heavyweight boxer sobbing crocodile tears down his smashed up face is obviously not going to be pretty, but man is it tough to watch. <laughs> Big 
the scene is heartbreaking, but Stallone's overacting takes it from tragedy to unintentional comedy. We may love Rocky for how in touch he is with his emotions, but Stallone may have done his job a bit too well this time. The Spider-Man Trilogy There are few cinematic whalers better, or worse depending on your perspective, than Tobey Maguire. In Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, Maguire cries so much as Peter Parker that it was tough to narrow things down to just one scene. When he's not fighting crime, you're bound to find him scrunching his face up into a tiny ball of despair. That said, Peter Parker is a great character precisely because of how human he is. There's honestly a lot to love about how strange Maguire looks when he cries. Because let's be real, we all look awful when we cry. Real tears are ugly. As uncomfortable as it may be to watch, Maguire's waterworks in the Spider-Man movies are about as real as they get, meme-worthy facial expressions and all. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.